the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! It's, it's the, the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. yeah. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. What's up? I'm Scott. I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill, Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle, Cubicle Show. At the number 167. The respectable volume special. The live and direct to you. Last time you saw us, we were live and direct at a wedding. But today, we're live and direct from the cubicles. Back in our home territory, we no. were able to be as loud as we wanted at the wedding. But I'm, I'm sick of getting yelled at for being too loud. So I'm just gonna keep it down, and yeah. I'm gonna be they've, sedated. They've effectively marginalized us. It has happened. We are marginal till we were out of our moment. Yo, that reminds Anyways, me. Anyways, we see, got a lot to get to today. Did you see all the pictures? Did you see there were multiple people that pic- posted ha- um, pictures from the wedding with the hashtag Team Fly, Team Cat, Team B95. Yeah. Yo. Well, we're both there. Yeah. Yo, it's just With another no, example of how we don't care no or team, we don't matter. No team jams. The, just another example. Team jams and pictures, no team jams hashtags. Not at all. All the That's other right. ones. I represent it with my pop Just another here. example, John, of us being marginalized over here. Oh, my gosh. Did you see, did no, you see no. all the wedding pictures that were hashtag with all the radio station teams? How many of them said team jams that weren't yours? You're that, the weren't yours. yours. that weren't yours. I don't know. I didn't check. I know that. I checked. Yep. I went and I looked. Yep. And I was like, freaking nobody. And they nobody. say, and they try to tell us that we matter. But time and time again, <laughs> we get shown that it doesn't matter at all what we do. Uh, but some reason we get yelled at the most. Okay. That's the exact reason. Kendall Jenner is beefing with this country girl, Casey Musgraves. Uh, we're going to show you the video of where I tag the best man at the wedding we were at this weekend. It was lit. Um... Poster boards and Donald Trump, how they link up in this crazy conspiracy This there. is a woke moment to start uh, you off for the work week. It's me Monday. <clears throat> um, but first, let's get this crack a in with DJ Khaled. Ooh, that's a good thing. crack a is good terminology to use because, okay, you gotta, I feel like you have to be very sensitive. I think we could be a little more open like on this. here since we're not on air and there's not really the FCC True. regulations. True, but still. Do um, you want me to just cut to the case and just say it, pretty much? Yeah, well, let's see Let's see if G-Dog has heard about this He's because he's about to stroll on by. Have you heard about DJ Khaled and his inhibitions? Inhibitions? Yeah. He, uh, he neglects, or no, he's reluctant to perform certain services <clears throat> for certain parties down south. Why? Like his, um, because, because he says he's a king. And kings don't do the that. The rules are different oh, for men. I thought you were kings. talking about something else. No. Okay, I get you now. No, he doesn't. Okay. We want to see how you would word this as the mighty captain of the ship of jams. Yes. How would you word that appropriately for an audience like this? Probably kindergarten is watching right now. Well, I don't think you should be talking about it on the cubicle show. What? You don't think that's ketchup slices? That's a lot of ketchup that's slices. That's like pour ketchup all over it and just go to town if you're not DJ Khaled. So, you know, back to your uh, Team Jams, hashtag yeah. Team Jams. <laughs> yeah, Team Jams. It's like the, the sign of the cross. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that people were hashtagging Team Fly, Team Cat, because that's where Jake works. Right, but he works B. on B, too. Does he work for B? Oh, oh yeah, people no. People did that. Um, they did. I can bring up a couple examples. There at least two. But Not still, it's there. There's no Team Jams. No t- I, you know what? That's All right. Not a, you know. Mm-hmm. Maybe you guys Wasn't are, Jake on see, jams back in the day? You, gotta admit, you guys are being ma- marginalized. See? No wow, he's starting that. to come around. <laughs> he also oh, worked part-time on B95. But he also oh, worked, he part-time, worked on part-time on, on, on jams, jams too. too. Actually, his first show was ever on jams. His yeah. first radio station yeah. ever was jams, 96.3. Yeah. yeah. So Team ABC doesn't count? I mean, now when you throw all the other stations, not jams. Yeah. Just marginalized. Okay. That's we're out of our just oh, moment. Right. Under right. the bus. I'm going to yeah. leave. Flat. Chantel can take my spot. No, done. Wow. Done. John did a post. Crazy. Also, no, yeah. Yeah, John, John wrote tram jams. Is that what <laughs> <John, laughs> you did? He did write tram jams. I saw that. That's really funny. I'll revise my hashtag now. No, no, you don't have to. It's fine. I corrected it. I'm going to write hashtag tram jams. Yes. Please do that. Only tram jams. jams. From now on, whenever we hashtag jams, it's tram jams. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's good. 
<laughs> Good Monday, everybody. <laughs> so yeah, DJ Khaled won't um, go down on his wife. That's pretty much yeah. the moral of the because story. Because he's here. a king. But it's an because... old interview, to be fair to him. Yeah, it's not nothing that's, new. That's the real. That's the breaking news here. This is going around over the weekend as though he just said it. He said it three years ago. Yeah. So, and I want to say, I want to say <laughs> that. DJ Khaled has changed his approach on a lot of things since his son Assad was born, and it makes you wonder if this is the kind of thing that he would change his mind about. Like, that's where my son came from. I want to put my mouth on it. You know what I mean? Too far. Is that too far? A little bit. All right. You don't want to describe the end act of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you did. Okay, let's move on from that topic. I don't see. I don't see anything wrong with that. Well, unless the kindergartners are indeed watching, like those little kids at the daycare over there, then I apologize. Wow. But you got to learn sometime. Wow. Might as well start now. This guy is is becoming. See, on here one. we go. I'm on one, but I'm on one in a controlled. No, mind. no, no. Look at how much I've grown as a person. Wow. Wow. All it took was going to a wedding and watching Gross. the beautiful demonstration of holy matrimony wow. and the greatest tag in history. Should we hit him with that? Should now? we show him I the think tag we should right segue now? Right into that. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this past weekend, now there there'll be pictures, and we'll let we'll let Jake talk about it. You know, because when was he gets back, it was Jake's wedding. Exactly. And I'm sure when he comes back, they'll talk about it on the, the Fly Morning Rush. I mean, tune in to Bill, but but the, I'm sure he'll talk about it show. on Wednesday. Yeah, but we're not important. So. <laughs> I want to tell another anecdote about why we're not important yeah. if we have time. Wow, dude. We'll get to it later. Our, like, case files Maybe. just keep getting <laughs> built up. It's so funny. It's like, you don't want to believe it, but it's like... Okay. It's marginalization instance number 157. 157. <laughs> Okay. So it's as many as our episodes of the Cubicle Show. It's crazy. All right, so I um, did a speech at Jake's wedding, right? Uh, best man type of swag stuff, right? Well, anyways, I'm about to show you the clip of when I tagged Jake <laughs> at the wedding here. I'm sorry, Mr. Brayman. I'm sorry, you're looking beautiful. I'm Jake. Love you, man. Yo, tag. You're in. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? And then I just pounded it. Oh, Tram jams. jams. <laughs> there it is. That's the new hashtag. Oh man, hashtag you tram jams. Up. We almost need to have that yeah, in the you background. Just leave it there. You know? yeah. I'm just gonna keep this. Can this. we just get Actually, somebody who's you a side holder? Yeah, somebody who's somehow less important oh, than we are to hold up. Oh shoot, you just yeah, dropped it. I dropped it down there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's gone for tram jams. But tram bro. jams, remember Thank it. You. Yeah. Mm. Wow. See, we're special now. We got our own hashtag. Yeah. That's okay. unique. So we get we deduct some marginalization yeah, yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're unique. So that was my tag, the most epic tag of all time. Um, yeah. I will show you the whole video. We got a whole big thing because we've been playing tag around the office for a couple weeks. So we'll put together this whole thing of it, like, back to back up until the greatest moment of all time. Can I play that one more time? Do you oh, think people do. will be mad yeah, if no, I play that ahead, one play more again. time? Let's see that because we can do it with commentary this time. Okay. Because you got the moment, you got the moment where they're trying to take your mic away because for some reason they thought you were done, even yeah. though you were like, "Oh, it's going to be a nice short speech," and they were like, "All right, give us the mic." And then, so yeah, go ahead and roll it. <laughs> yeah, they're coming for your mic. You're like, "No, shut it down." I'm not done yet. Most important moment. Yo, Ted, you're in. Tosses the freaking napkin. That really sells it. Plus, he got the whole. So there's like what, ten of us there? Mm-hmm. It's, uh, maybe oh, there's... less, six or seven. Yeah, and and like everybody from work here is like, ah, yeah, going nuts, and nobody else has any idea what's going on, which was exactly what I was hoping oh, for. It was so good. Also, <clears throat> I'll show you the speech too because I also had a great punchline in the beginning, a nice little joke. I was like, "It's been a very emotional day. <laughs> Even the cake is in tears." Oh, <laughs> Andrew Dice played it up. It was good. Um, maybe we'll play you that clip again before we're out of here. Let's um, move on here. Kendall Jenner uh, is beefing, was about to beef with Casey Musgraves, who I've learned is like an alternative like country star. She's on the, the up and up. I've um, heard the name before. Uh, well, anyways. Oh, Pete. Hey, Pete. Casey Musgraves. What's, yes. what's her deal? Uh, she's got songs, but she doesn't have a whole lot on the radio because she's more alternative country. Re okay. okay. I'm still in your stapler, by the way. That's okay? fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank um, you for your contribution. Well, so Kendall takes stapler. a picture of herself on the top of a rooftop. She's just chilling out, and in the background, there's a promo for Casey Musgraves' new album. Let me let me shout it out while I can. I'll get to it in a second. Um, is a promotion for a new album. Well, anyways, the picture for it gets blurred out. 
Casey Musgrave sees it, so then she like retweets this photo <laughs> of Kendall Jenner's face blurred out. Oh, the shade. The album is called Golden Hours. Um, but then, uh, you know, Kendall, she definitely did some damage control because she got on Twitter and she was like, yo, I was working all day and didn't edit this photo. Casey's literally my effing favorite. Space Cowboy, I miss you. Keep it to yourself. Follow the arrow. Bangers. Ask any one of my homies. I die for her. Oh, wow. Okay. That's more than damage control. Jeez, have you ever heard of overcommitting? Holy cow. I die for her? Yeah. You're going to post a picture with her face blurred out, and then you turn around and say you would die for her. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you're, you're trying a little too hard here. Plus, I was going to go with – I was going to focus on the – she's literally my favorite. Like, please, come on. Can we Can we not? But then she said I die for her. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm trying to think of a good analogy and I can't think of one, but that's that's is, stupid. Here it is. Poop. Poop. By the way, I was just doing poop, poop, scoop diddy whoop behind you talking the whole time, man. <laughs> nice. <laughs> because she definitely hit him with bars. bars. Ooh, barred him up. Okay, now um Chloe uh Kardashian. Sister of Kendall Jenner. Yes. Segway. The was sister segue. Spotted with her baby Faj, Christian Thompson, oh, God. Saturday night at the uh, Cavaliers game. Yeah. I guess they were also spotted out doing some lunch on Friday yeah. as well. Yeah. All right. Here's the thing. So it looks like they are still together for some godforsaken reason. This guy's a human pile of garbage. And What's she good, needs Kyle? To dump him. Stat. Um, now I can understand if they're together in the sense that it's good for their kid because sure, you know, strong family unit, whatever, but like, you don't really need to have anything to do with him beyond that. So when I see you getting lunch with this guy on Friday, how Cleveland do you know they weren't friends, working out some like, well, that's what uh, I'm saying if they're, that's what I'm saying if they're going out, you know, they're making arrangements for the baby, whatever. Cool. You could theoretically say that, but then when you see her at the Cavaliers game on Saturday night. That's not for the good of young True, young baby True. She's just there to support her man, who is apparently still her man. Now, I've said before, oh, shoot, i got to calm myself because I'm about to get on one right here. Let me just dial it down. Let me dial it back. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be seething instead of shouting. Okay, so this Ooh, frigging guy. I like seething Bill here better, I think, dude. All right, so I have said before that I kind of feel bad for Khloe Kardashian because she gets bad relationships. See, I can see it more she in your face right now. all these basketball players that cheat on her, right? Lamar Odom he cheated on her their entire marriage, and then she gets cheated on by Tristan Thompson right before this baby pops out. But then she finds all this out, and she goes running back to him. Hold the phone here, all right? You could only do this, you can only go back to the people that hurt you for so long before you need to stop, look at yourself and say, I need to upgrade to a higher quality, a higher class of human being and stop treating myself with such disrespect that I'm going to stay with a guy like this. You've got to take responsibility <laughs> for that. Yeah. You can you can only make bad praise. decisions for so long before I stop feeling bad for you. So, Chloe, stop being a freaking doofus and break up with this loser. Ooh. That's all I got to say. Ooh, hold on. Wow. These bars... These bars, man. These. You know what? With that all being said, there's really nothing more to say except you should give somebody a second chance. Second chance is one thing, but he's done it multiple times. It's like the he's cheated on her at least twice before. Well, you're acting like cheating on somebody while they're pregnant is the worst thing you could do. <laughs> Dude, that was a perfect storm right there. You, you hit him with those bars, and Stephanie floats by with her, with her floaty. <laughs> <laughs> that is, it's pretty bad. Like, it's, you know, aside from, like, kicking them in the stomach while pregnant. Yeah, you've like, gone too far. <laughs> that's, you know, that's pretty bad, cheating oh, on them while they're pregnant. Well, cheating, anyways, cheating, period. Well, she Don't has a cheat. history of doing this. How, because... how hard is it to just not? I mean, I realize. It's that... it's hard. Did you, in the new, in the, in the <laughs> Yo Gotti say... song, he goes, he's like, I want to stay faithful, but that's hard, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That wraps it all up. That's a compelling it's hard, argument. Baby. No. That's why. It's hard. I don't think it's very hard if you're actually baby. into the person. If you're not into the person, yeah, but, here's a thought. Okay, just break the, up so you can okay. go diddle around here's and whatever the, you want. Okay, wait. I'm getting... Listen, I, listen. I'm not saying go out there and cheat. I'm not saying that at all. But there's a different level. When you're somebody that's constantly presented with the opportunities... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are we giving him credit for all the, all the opportunities he's like 
Denied? You don't get you don't get credit for that. That is the normal like that's well, the why basic not, minimum. You know, that's the minimum requirement for a late relationship is to not go have sex with everyone that you run into. That you don't you don't. Hey, congratulations, you didn't be a scumbag. You, that's not a thing. But if you knock away one fifty, why can't no. you just take one? Why can't you knock away one fifty one? Then then take one fifty two. No, you don't. I know what you're doing. You're putting me, you're setting me up to go to 100 real quick. And I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to keep it okay, at a respectable volume. This because I, I was trying to get Bill, like, extra I know loud. you were, I know you were, but I, I'm being good. I'm a good boy. I'm reformed. You know why I'm reformed? Thanks to this freaking lemon. <laughs> Hit him with the lemon. Uh. Okay, so poster board. Yeah, right? there's Chad. Is that your live? Chad still got know, his live. live. It's Saturday Night Live. live. <laughs> uh, Citrus uh, Squad. Yo, I'm Hashtag part of it, but the tram jams. The people yo, definitely stole, stole my line. They stole Scott's line. <laughs> the nerve of them. All right, so Bill has been uh, yelled at recently and told that he's got to take his government mandated breaks. Oh my God, the bane of my existence. Why can't you know? I come here to a job that I love and I just want to work straight through, right? I want to just punch in at five. I want to punch out at one, maybe punch out later than one if I'm still working because I'm always working. Everything is show prep. Life as an experience just prepares me for the next show, Fact. right? That's how I approach Factory. things. Thank you. So when I'm told that Uncle Sam is telling me that I got to stop what I'm doing, interrupt my creative flow so I can punch out and go eat some food or just punch out and not eat food. They don't care what I'm doing as long as I punch out. Why do I have to punch out? Well, here's the thing, right? Scott brought up a good point. You, you hit him. You, you, we'll, we'll go back and forth like we did earlier. Okay. Do we want to get into the actual laws? Well, we don't. First? I mean, Scott's <laughs> lawyer Scott over here actually printed out the laws. Yeah, right. Actually, go ahead. Bill you know is, what? Bill hit him is... with the laws to give us some context. Okay, right. So according to New York State laws, right, they're adapted federal laws, right? Uh, New York State requires them for the federal government requires employees <laughs> to pay for any short breaks allowed. And to pay for all time an employee spends working, whether or not that employee is eating at the same time. All right. So that means I can eat and get paid. At the same damn time. At the same time. It requires employers to provide a meal break, but it doesn't require rest breaks. Okay. So. See, the problem is, just to clarify, it, right? the problem is not that I want a break. And don't get to take one. I got, I get breaks. Problem is that I'm being forced to take okay. a break when I don't want to. Well, I'm not going to get into this because there's a lot of other stuff. But there's all this stuff on when you come into work <laughs> and if you worked at this time and past this time, your mm -hmm. break situation. There is nothing laid out for your hours of operation. From 5 a.m. to 1 But I did learn that I am allowed an extra 20-minute break that's supposed to occur after 5 o'clock for myself and Chad, too. So I come out and I'm complaining about all this because just like I did to you. o'clock <clears> as well. <clears throat> and Scott was like, thanks, Trump. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Trump, he did this. He Trump's made fault. these laws himself. And he was like, yo, you want to go get some poster board and protest? And I was like, yes, let's go Factory. do it. And Scott goes, yo, do you think that poster board sales have gone up since Trump was president from all the protesting? And that's when it hit me, the major moment of wokeness that's going to get you through this work week. All right. This was all a ploy from right. big poster board. Big poster board. Wanted to get Trump elected because they knew there would be so many protests and they would sell so many more poster wow. boards if he was president. We got all these people thinking it was Russia and Russian hackers and Facebook leaking information. No, no, no. Poster board. And what more evidence do you need? Well, to make poster boards, you need to cut down trees, all the trees. What agreement did Trump recently pull out of that's supposed to protect the environment? That Paris Environmental Agreement. Thing, whatever it was Paris called. Climate Accord yeah. thing. Even more evidence. It's crazy, man. Welcome, Sean. Welcome, Sean. You got a, you got a flame broil take wow. for us? Did you hear? It's the poster board industry. Do you remember last week when I said that your flat earth was the dumbest thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's the second dumbest oh, thing. Oh, <laughs> that means cube earth. He's not really all that stupid anymore. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more believable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's show these quick memes and get out of right. here. I forgot to load Bill's meme up. I'm sorry. It's fine. It wasn't that good. We can use it next week. I'll post it on the Jams page later anyway. Here's my meme. Every female's <laughs> favorite place to eat. Where do you want to go? I don't care. The bar and grill. On the for real, I don't know if this is a legitimate spot or whatnot, um, but if it was, 
they probably would make a lot of money. You know where DJ Khaled's favorite place to eat is? Um, not the seafood restaurant. <laughs> Not down south of the border. <laughs> okay, with that being said, we'll be back at it tomorrow. You can catch us on the Jams Facebook page Monday through Thursday at 10.30 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matter. One. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a Cubicle Show. Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we just got one boy.